One of the most frequently asked questions that I get on this channel is from one of my previous videos that I made a while back. It was on how to recognize planets with your naked eyes. In that video, I showed you guys how you can find planets without using your smartphone. But as it turns out, most of you guys were more interested in knowing how to use a smartphone to find planets in the sky. So today, we're gonna take a look at few of the apps that I personally use to locate planets in the sky. And as few of my friends pointed out, we are not going to be confined to the confines of my room today, but rather go out and explore the skies together. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the app that you guys have been asking about. It's called Star Rover. It's a simple and cool looking app, but unfortunately it's not available in the Play Store anymore. So here are a few of my other recommendations for a similar app. The first app in our list is called Star Tracker. Once you have configured the location in this app, you are all good to go. You can scroll, zoom or pinch in to find planets on the app. You can find planets, stars or even deep sky nebulas. You can also move your phone around to look up at what's in the sky. If you're not a fan of this colorful and flashy look, you can use this app called Sky Safari. It's a very minimal looking app, but has most of the functionality of the first app. Here too, you can scroll, zoom, pinch and find planets, nebulas or stars. And I personally use the app more often than the other app because of how simple and minimal it is. So that out of the way, let's go outside for some stargazing. So a couple of weeks back, I was looking up at the sky and I knew that there were three planets around. Jupiter, Saturn and Mars were in the sky. So I used the apps to locate them. But as you can see, it's very dark. And because I'm recording from my phone, you can barely see anything. So few days back, I went outside again and took few pictures of the sky so that you guys can see better. Seeing these pictures, you can see Jupiter and Saturn close to each other. That's because there is a conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn coming up. I'll be making a video on this soon, so stay tuned. So until next time, keep striving. This is me, a striving amateur. Goodbye.